So you a Spurs fan now? Yeah, I've been a Spurs. Wait, hold on. What you mean now? I've you never heard. <laughs> I've never. No, if y'all go on Key's page, he's literally yelling Jokic's name. Yo, Adam's apple was moving when you were saying his name. He said Jokic. <laughs> I'm a Jokic fan, but I've been a Spurs fan for a long time. I've never heard you mention the Spurs. Not because once. they've been getting trash. Hey. But on Facebook, that's where I keep, like, you know, <laughs> the Spurs Facebook. shit. But Facebook is Instagram, not a real world. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Facebook is not real. <laughs> Welcome to Crash Dummies episode 108. 108. 108, for um, sure. Make sure you subscribe to Patreon. Patreon, we are dropping a bonus episode next Monday. This Monday. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Next, Next Monday. Monday. No, no. This Monday from where they hear this on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. yeah technically yes. to you. Yeah. <laughs> the month, first Monday in July. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah so we're dropping another episode on Monday. Uh, so if you're not subscribed to the Patreon, please subscribe. Uh, follow us on all social media platforms. Upgrade. Upgrade. It's only $6. What's only $6? More. They upgrade. More. Oh. The $1. I think that's the people we need to talk to. The one dollar tier. The one dollar tier. What are y'all doing? No, they still have to. I think they technically still have to pay seven. I'm just saying. What are they doing? They already dropping one dollar. Might as well drop. Come on. Hey, if you want the bonus content, man, we're putting extra content out there. Or just say y'all don't fuck with us like that, <laughs> and then we can know if we don't fuck with you. <laughs> this man Hold always up. cursing the first ten minutes. <laughs> that don't count, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, it don't All count. All our videos right. been monetized. Yeah, man. we've been getting monetized yeah, lately. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one we might not. <laughs> yeah, come get us, niggas. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else has been happening? We didn't really talk about this last week, but uh, the submarine thing. Mm. Mm. It's, <laughs> do I want to joke about that on camera? Yeah, that's the that's the, the that was the part where some of them were funny. But then it's like, damn, you start to really think about it where it's like some yeah. people actually died. Because, you know, dark humor lives within me. Yeah, I so, feel like our our podcast is very... Dark but, humor. So they want to hear some some dark humor. Um, yeah, I can't, man. <laughs> That's tough. But the funniest one I did see is uh, they kept playing Pleasure Peace Song Under. <laughs> so we said... I'm um, hold my breath until you feel it. <laughs> Just someone time. said... Um, <laughs> A whale must have thought it was a perk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's. I seen Titanic two and O. Damn! Wow, that was. But crazy. the thing, I think the funny thing is that obviously R. P. The people that that lost their lives. I think we always find humor in things that are very ironic. Um, and I think because they literally went down to see a shipwreck that people died on, and they're. I don't, it's not a shit, but their water device wrecked as well. It's just right. like it's super ironic that they went down there to do that. Right. All those people drowned on the Titanic, and then basically you lost your life yeah. near the Titanic. And it was, the thing just didn't, I don't know. It was just, uh, I heard Mr. Beast put out a text too that, that he was, he got invited on that same um, cruise and stuff like that. I heard it's been done before though. I heard it might have been done with, like, experts. This is the first, like... Um, yeah, his first, like, random dude to do yeah. And he was on the boat as well. Bro, once I seen them closing the fucking ship with a regular... If I can buy the shit that you're using <laughs> to close your ship from Home Depot, fuck no, I'm not yeah. getting on there. I need to see a fucking robot, like... Zzz. And there was a, like, there was the fuck we about to go down somewhere where we never been so I need to see some tools and material. Where the fucking vibranium from fucking Wakanda. It man. was um it was an email chain on the owner and like some experts and the experts are telling him not to do it like it's not going to work and stuff like that. What? Yeah. And then he still went ahead and did it. Man, you know he closed that email like them hating ass niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas trying to hate on me. This yeah, is so unfortunate. To... And the one part that when I thought they were all stuck cuz I, I guess they weren't really stuck on the they, it probably just they said it might have just imploded. Yeah, they said that um, shit happened way faster yeah. than the brain could even capture. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. said Damn. that it's like it's it instantly. Said, and, and when something implodes that fast, it catches on fire. So there's gonna not be any, like every the only pieces that they're gonna find is like gel. Yeah. And so the, they, they the people on the ship didn't even know what happened. Yeah. To the point, it's like it happened that fast. There's no way they would have known. And they're they're gonna be gel, and then other fish and stuff are gonna eat. They're gonna be no remains of them ever. They gotta be some aliens down there or something. How does that happen in the ocean? It's just the pressure. Just too much pressure. It's gravity. And it does it that fast? It's that like fast. millions of millions of pounds of like pressure. Damn. That's what I, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's fish that look like some of these niggas' aunties down there. <laughs> you know, niggas got them aunties with the big eyeballs and the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> 
But damn I, Chewbacca. <laughs> when I thought they were down there, <laughs> when I thought they were down there, the one thing that like there's billion <laughs> idiot, bro. The um there was billionaires, you know, there's a richest man in Pakistan, I think it was there too. And I was just like a lot of rich people on that boat, and I thought they were stuck, but it was just like, damn, I'm a billionaire. And I'm stuck under this ocean, and my money can't do nothing for me. What are you talking? The real Titanic? No, I'm just saying general. When I re- we, we thought they were stuck down there. Oh, and I'm just saying to be you stuck. Said boat. That's what I thought you. My bad. The submarine to be stuck on something and be like, damn, my money cannot do anything to save me right now. Yeah, that's what I always <laughs> say. That shit is crazy. Like I can't even. Obviously, right? They were never stuck, so they never had that yeah. thought. Yeah, and I never stick. realized that it was still. It, it took them like two to four hours to get down to where they were at. So if they had to go two to four hours down there and then go two to four hours to come try to uh, bring it back up. I don't think people realize how, <laughs> how, how crazy it is that he tried to go that deep and he's not like the official government. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> See, I didn't even tricks. catch it. You could have you kept talking. But anyways, everybody's like, oh, they, when it first happened, just like, oh, how, you know. He's going to go down deep as Titanic. Okay, cool. If I told you, hey, me and Mike are building a spaceship and we're going to space, it would be, be outrage. Way more outrage than there was before dude left. Yeah. And it's the same thing. You don't know what's down there, just like you don't know what's in space. And but you don't I, have the technology to I, get there. I would rather go to space than go to the sea. At least with space. Hell no. No, no, no. I would rather go to space than go under the water. I guess. Because I, when you're in space, everything is below you. You can see What's there? There's stars and stuff like that. Under the sea, there's no light there. Yeah, it's true. dark. It's pitch dark. They yeah. had that on that submarine. They had one little ass window, and they had a monitor. They were probably gonna see everything through. It's like, fam, a nigga couldn't even look out a window. Exactly. Why are <laughs> you even going out the there? whole trip? Imagine being, uh, hey, how long we got till we get back? And then you feel that fart rising. I be like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I got it too. <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> That'd be crazy to do that under there. Uh, nah, but yeah, hey, I'd rather be in sp- me. I'd rather be in space though. Pull. At least space. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, say you want something to implode in him? That's oh, crazy. Wait, this is the second one. This is the Pause. Second one. Well, who you want to implode in you? Whoa! <laughs> I don't think implode is. I mean, somebody can implode in you. They That's can. Crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy thought. That's not a crazy. I'm not thinking it. You are you, thinking it. No, you're definitely thinking. I'm it. not thinking about you getting imploded. <laughs> See, that's how you flip a pause on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking about you getting imploded. Well, but yeah, I'd rather definitely uh, be in space. Nah, hell nah. You just said you agreed with me. Yeah, he did. This thing is so chopped, bro. Said pause, right? he <laughs> that boy just want to. You know that one dude that just want to disagree with anything. Hey. Remember uh, that one dude in our college yeah. that just disagree with everything. Bro, isn't he used to make me so fucking mad, <laughs> I, bro? I'm talking about you. Be only halfway. Be like, this is why LeBron is. He'd be like this. Already shaking his head like, nah, I'll punch you in that bitch. You keep shaking that bitch like that. It's like, why Why do you want to disagree so bad? So bad, bro. There's some people that just want everything to, to be a debate. He'd Everybody like, think they Stephen A. Smith. He'd be like, damn, it's hot. He'd be like, one time I was in Africa, bro, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> it's not even that hot out, bro. Right. <laughs> was that guy named Steve? No. No, no, no. We Jeremy? won't say his name. Oh, okay. Hell no. That sounds like a Steve or Jeremy thing. <laughs> nah. Steve or Jeremy is insane. <laughs> it's insane. What do you have against uh, Steve or Jeremy's? Them the ones that always do that. They be having like, glasses. Oh, okay. So, oh, you got to tell your jokes real quick before I move on. Which jokes? You said black jokes about the submarine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga is shocked, bro. <laughs> what hey, he, right I, the thing I'm mad at is the way you looked at me in pure confusion, <laughs> and you fucked me up. I'm like, oh, shit. Did this nigga not had nothing to say? This nigga looked at me with disgust. He said, what you talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. You fucking chopped, nigga. <laughs> no, stop locking your phone, nigga. You got to go get the jokes. This nigga is shocked. What are you doing? Whoa. Oh, my mama. <laughs> that boy all on step my porn. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga in the comment section like, shut the fuck up and watch the video. <laughs> so is a nigga complaining about the scene. That's unrealistic. Yeah, it was unrealistic when she took two dicks in her asshole, too. <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> Damn, I just forgot to open my phone. <laughs> bro, all right, everybody, hey, 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 I got everybody lock in right now, bro. We got thousands and thousands of people, tens of thousands, 20,000, 50,000 people listening to us right now. 
All right. All right. All right. Let's lock in. Y'all breath stink. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing. Um, you got your shit. Yeah. Um, no way. But I feel like <laughs> it's a lot of like black. I, no, I seen on Facebook that. It, a lot of black people are saying they wouldn't go on the submarine, and I don't know if that's a black thing or not. I think I don't know. I don't mess. With, I wouldn't go on a cruise. I don't really like cruises like that. I don't like shit that's controlled by somebody else. Like <laughs> that, they navigating something like a whole yeah, and they got to do it the whole time. Like uh-huh. at least flights are to a destination. I don't do even any, like that about flights. Do anybody just be like, oh, let's go on a, uh, a seven hour flight for fun? <laughs> Hell no. Would you do that? No, I hate planes. Going to plane? What if it was a plane party? Would people do that? <laughs> Probably. You on there dancing and shit. You see a bar fight, and then somebody knock out the pilot. Like, hey, I think it's just too unpredictable. <laughs> Why you knock him out? <laughs> it's too unpredictable. <laughs> we got I was see- left for gas. <laughs> I w- <laughs> wake up the pilot. I was wondering. I was wondering when um the flight attendants were like the pli- pilot. You know, after nine eleven. That they've been strict about how people going into the the cockpit and stuff like that. <laughs> Trill, this dude is so immature. So, but I was wondering when the pilot has to use the bathroom. You know, you see the flight attendant like they put that little door and they stand in front of that door while he uses the bathroom. I was like, bro, if I really want to hijack this plane, you think uh, <laughs> an eighty year old lady standing in front of that little door is going to stop me? Wait, so they stand in front of that door for what purpose? So they, I've never seen. I've never had my pilot use the bathroom. You probably been on all you, short you, flights. You flew to LA a lot. Yeah. Though. So you So they'll to it. so they'll use the bathroom. They'll obviously call them one pilot will go use the bathroom. They'll put like a sliding door and they'll stand in front of that sliding door like right at the entrance. I just don't know what's that what's really stopping that. Yeah, that couldn't be me. As soon as he walked past me, I'm say, "Damn, you couldn't hold it." <laughs> <laughs> who, who flying the plane? Yeah, I was, just start causing shit. Hey, this nigga in the back, I'm getting my fucking money the back. The scariest part, part I hate when the pilot don't say nothing. After turbulence, just just in general. I've been on a flight. The pilot didn't say anything, <laughs> anything, bro. It was a really short flight, but he didn't say nothing the whole flight. <laughs> I just we just went in the air and then we landed. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what is going on? What, okay, scenario. So, what if it's like thirty minutes before your flight, right? Mm-hmm. And you go in, you are using a bathroom, and a pilot comes next to you. Is also using the bathroom. Y'all go to wash your hands at the same time. You see him take a bump of coke. Like, damn, this pilot's taking bumper coats. That as you get on your flight, he's the one that said, Hey, nice to meet you. Have a seat, blah, blah. blah. He's greeting you. So he's your pilot. I'll probably get off the plane. (laughs) I really don't. I like, in general, don't fuck with planes right now. Would you snitch on him? Yes. What would you say? Excuse me, ma'am, or I just call the cops or some shit. No, like that's the marshal. I'm like, Is there a marshal, undercover marshal on this plane? Right ass, man. I'm (laughs) just not going to fly. No, no, I'm I'm gonna fly. They're gonna give me. They're, they're gonna find us a good pal. I'm gonna carry the shit out there. I, I'm de- no for real. On, on some, it's fucked up because that's the only people I'd be mean to. Yeah. Like if I'm at like if I ever got something from McDonald's, which I don't shit trash, stop eating it. But Bro, unless they fucking. unless they respond to us, but we love uh, ba da ba ba ba. But if McDonald's fuck up my order, I'm trying to get my order right, but I'm not gonna snitch on you. I'm not trying to get you fired. Yeah. Like, I like, might. Life's rough already. No, I might um, snitch. Might snitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But if you work for like a, a, a airport, it's wraps. Because I need a free, I need a free flight. Yeah, free something. I need free, because you work for all those big corporations, people coming for your neck because they want something for free. Yeah. You can't make no mistakes. My friend got uh, attacked by, um, I think it was like an ex-sports employee, like a gym, it's a gym, um, a fitness gym employee. And You like uh, fitness? He got uh, att- attacked by this fitness employee, right? And then um, he's going to sue them. But then the manager kept calling it. Like, the corporate head kept calling them and offering them, like, a year membership for free. <laughs> <laughs> corporate <laughs> gave him what? <laughs> no, they kept saying, we'll give you a, a year free and then let us know how much you're down. You're da- because they broke his phone in the process. Mm. I let, so you know that they, they, they know that there's well, some shit coming. The thing I learned is whatever a company offering you, oh, shit. Yeah. Turn <laughs> that <laughs> shit down. Yeah, yeah. Don't If they're offering you anything, if a, turn it down. If the, especially if it's quick, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we give you a free flight or something. Like, hell no. <laughs> yeah. Give me one of them planes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> something up. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah, give me one. Give me that spirit one right there. I would take no, a spirit. spirit? Paper no, hell no. No, a people, lot of people fly spirit. I know, but the thing about the, the spirit. Because Drake said it. 
I know, but I think we need to. I think we talked about this, but people need to stop shaming people about doing things that are cheaper. Because the thing about it, if you th- look at plane crashes, I don't think Spirit is, is mostly those high end planes. They're always like Southwest and all that stuff. It's not. It's, it's just super. It's never. Sketchy. It's, it just Spirit just has really bad. It just makes it seem like it's a bad deal because their tickets are cheap, but then they make you pay for everything on that plane. Right. Baggage, water. You ever seen a, bur- a burger place do that? You're like, damn, burgers only six dollars here, and it's four dollars for some tomatoes. Like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they always get you with the add bacon. <laughs> It'd be like ten dollars for added bacon. Add bacon, nigga. Q-dope, uh Chipotle charging a dollar fifty for queso. Right in front of you, what? I said uh, Chipotle charging a dollar fifty for queso. No, that's why everybody love dirty ass Qdoba <laughs> because they give you all the shit for free, nigga. The fajitas, nigga. The fajitas don't even be fajita in. Yeah, on the Qdoba. The hatas. You like Qdoba or Chipotle? I I like uh, Qdoba better. Really? Cause, yeah, because Chipotle kind of tastes bland sometimes, depending on what you get, though. I normally get the burrito bowl and the chicken be tasting like super bland. Yeah, they don't they don't go crazy on their chicken. I, no, I, I like Chipotle. I didn't taste some over seasoned. Tastes fresh. I didn't taste some fresh for sure. I didn't taste some over seasoned uh, chicken from Kudo, but you don't know who working and shit. <laughs> over seasoned, yeah. Crazy. Once you see them elbows that hang over the other part of the elbow, that back <laughs> arm, you know they think about the season the fuck out that chicken. <laughs> it's you know what you think. Uh, so? Fourth of July coming up. Fuck that got to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about barbecues and shit. There's always that one person that you want to like, they're always trying to find the barbecue. Or they've been at like five, six barbecues. Then I just held up four fingers for five. That's crazy. That's cra- <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was looking at, um, I don't know why. You know, you go to a YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah. And somebody recorded um, a scuffle at like a Bow Wow concert. And I was listening to Bow Wow per- perform in the background, and he was performing songs from when he was, like, like 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Like, when he first started off. And I was like, damn, I remember them songs. Like the songs I grew up on. And it's just like, damn, I remember that song. Then I remember it's one song that Bow Wow cannot re-sing because it sound crazy. He just had this song. I forgot what it's called. I think it's, like, It's a Dog in Me or something. And it goes, little girls say I'm delicious. Grown folks say I'm just too vicious, but they don't understand. It's just the dog in me, and that's just the way I am. That's how it goes. Yeah. But the first part, he can't sing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That'd be crazy. laughs> little girls can't call you delicious. I yeah, wonder yeah. if he switched up them lyrics. He got to. He got to. I, don't, I mean, he doesn't like going by Bawa anymore either. What do you go by? Oh, Shy Moss. Yeah. Shout out to Shy Moss, man. <laughs> Speaking of rappers, like Lil Bow Wow's crazy. Uh, YK Osiris. Man. Hey, that song he about to drop, fire though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Did you hear it? I, huh? Yeah. There was a snippet. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I do not remember hearing. It's a fire. Snippet. I wish we could play it. Why not? It's not out. It might. He might put it out. You know, he gonna need. He it's gonna, only thirty seconds. If we just gonna, gotta comment over it, he gonna uh, copyright the shit out of us. They need all that check. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I saw him. No, I, li- I like him though. I saw him doing that. Prom- no, I just want. I saw he him doing that promo for um, whatever. He was just sitting there with a whole bunch of papers everywhere and yeah, acting like he was promo for it. acting like he was frustrated. Yeah, did he take it down? Sound like a Disney, uh, <laughs> a Disney song. Nah, that shit was hard. It was decent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was, he it was tripped like, with the promo when he was just standing there with all them balled up piece of papers. I just think like, it's nigga, just weird. You don't, to- you don't write like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> nigga, you got like fucking ten words in your whole fucking song. Nigga. I just think Why it's you wasting all that paper. I just think it's a little weird to use whatever happened as a as a, a promo rollout. Now that's crazy <laughs> Cause this is personally Basically a rollout Because he's been Probably googled He's probably looking At the analytics And he's been searched The most right now In this little time frame I feel like it, As much as he says like Says like People are Not his friends And stuff like that I feel like that's When he's in the news The most Because it's a lot of rappers um, I mean that, he was hanging out With Drake for the longest And but, then that just stopped Automatically Right <laughs> But it's 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 a lot of rappers that like they can't keep their their clout going, 
even though they're good artists and have stuff out. But he somehow stays relevant and only know one of his songs. If you want to be real, not trying. I'm sure he got other songs, but only yeah. know one of them. Mm-hmm. And when he owed Lil Baby money, yeah, and it was on. That was everybody was talking about him when Drake made him sing because he owed him money. And it was a thing that he always owed people money. He even got um, uh, he was on a Breakfast Club talking. You know what I'm saying? He just yeah. had that buzz going, and he only got one song. So I feel like he always been using it. Yeah. I- this is my first time ever seeing him actually use fucking put out a song or something. I always seen him do like the promos like that, like the songs, the snippets, and they sound good. I just don't know what happens after that. So I don't fo- I just don't <laughs> follow him. His, uh label. Somebody put uh him on a like a dinosaur. I was like, these <laughs> niggas. It's crazy to say somebody look like a dinosaur. Oh, there was sticking in music, there was um Black Caillou. <laughs> there's a Cora Cora Larray has a song. Koi Larray. Has a song called "Get Loud" and then somebody uh, quoted it said Madden soundtrack music. Yeah, and I it, it kind of does sound like a Madden soundtrack music. That does sound like because that definitely Hell sounds yeah. like the start. That shit cool. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened after you lose on a game with a field goal and you back to the main main. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Be fuck? mad as hell. Yeah. You hated me. Dumb game, dumb game theme songs, bro. They, oh man, they make you hate the real song sometimes, though. I know, but it's nice. It's nice in the game. It's but nice later on. Like yeah. that year that it came out, like, um, everybody gonna know I'm talking out. about uh, Madden. Yeah. Throw it in rotation. Yeah. Throw it in rotation. rotation. Yeah, yeah. So that was on Madden, and I hated that song. Yeah. And then I heard it like a year later, and I was like, damn, I know this song. Still annoying as fuck, but <laughs> hey, I know it. It's like the overplayedness of it. It's like, oh, damn. Just automatically know it. Um, Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg cage match. I got. I got Mark. I got Mark. Did you have you seen Mark? I got yeah, yeah. Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark, take him down. Mark active. Hell yeah. But I just want Mark to get his ass beat for banning me so many times on Facebook. <laughs> What'd you get banned for? Though? I bet I bet you there was I bet you there was a good reason. Be- very Valerie. I'll probably ban you every day. I bet you. So what was the what did you get banned for? Uh one time I said where the fat bitch is at. Banned. Ban- <laughs> that it, what? Cause they, they everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll be seeing people get shot in the head and, and and them videos be up for years. I say where the fat bitches at. And I what else banned? you get banned for? No, you can't say that because then the world going. No, I'm fine. <laughs> you gotta get them all in one spot. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> I said, um, what, the, what did I say? I was like, what if, what if Martin Luther King and Malcolm X got into a boxing fight? Who would win? And, <laughs> and then somebody said Malcolm X, and then I said uh, Martin Luther King mustache for the win. And then I got banned. I don't know why though. <laughs> Definitely just <happened. laughs> sparking a debate between Martin Luther King and Malcolm X should be like it's bannable offense. It was already like a debate on like who no, it was did it. more. Well, no, not that. <laughs> Who's well, debating that? I, I don't know. I, I think Malcolm X might win though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was thinking about it this whole time. Y'all were debating this. I was like, definitely. I just feel like Martin Luther King was more like spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Marx. Uh, Malcolm took a little action. He might have been a little more extreme. Now nah, this is crazy. He had an AK <laughs> in his picture. Yeah, if you You're talking about a private fight? Yeah, like a, a boxing fight. It long as it's private, because I feel like Martin Luther King's message was to turn the other cheek. Yeah. And Malcolm X was about the action. So in public, yeah. But I'm talking about a private fight. You still t- I'm still taking I'm taking the king. No. <laughs> <laughs> what will he do to him? Huh? What will he do to him? Cast a spell? I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one, two, us. <laughs> now I'm taking a king. No, I'm trying to feel like what like prominent figures have I seen I'm in a full off fist fight. Huh? I'm trying to see what prominent figures I've seen out in a full on fist fight. No, none of them. Yeah. You haven't seen none of them but Will Smith. Will Smith's probably the most famous dude we've seen in a scuffle. Was mm-hmm. the slap? Yeah. That's not a scuffle though. Hey. It could have been a scuffle. He's Chris Rock should just hey, Chris Rock should just hit back, bro. You think so? Yeah, I he just probably think, thought he didn't know what was going on. I know it's Imagine hella confusing. Some shit. Yeah, I get the I get the hesitation, but when he got the yelling back at me, oh, to be the yeah, yeah. So I'd be like, damn, is that part of the I, I, part of the script? I'm also then, not. A, go ahead. Then he's saying, "Keep my wife's name out your mouth." I'd have said at least one more joke, like <laughs> this Timon looking ass girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a Q-tip. But uh, I just know. I just obviously it's difference because he's super, because <laughs> he's super rich, right? Like Roger from American uh, <laughs> Dad. Go get it. Ricky Spanish. <laughs> we love Jada. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> who's we? Y'all right? love Jada Pinkett Smith? I'm not saying, but I hate when people say we we love do this you person. Love Jada Pinkett Smith? Do I love her? Yeah. No, no, I don't love her. What don't you love about her? Uh, not that I don't love <laughs> her. I, I like her as an actress. Yes. Huh? I like her as an actress. You don't actress. like her as a person? No, no, I don't know her. Let's see if we can get on Red Table Talk. I got some shit to The show is canceled. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not on Facebook Watch anymore. You know they canceled all those shows on Facebook. Facebook Watch? Yeah. Facebook had a little thing where they had series. They had like, they had like, um, the Ball family, they had their little show there. Oh, they had the Ooh. Julian family? Yeah, they had Julian family. They had the Red Table Talk. Nigga, that be dribbling fast and don't be going nowhere. <laughs> 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 I seen him dribble real fast and go up a layup and LaMelo Ball smack that shit out the back of the class. <laughs> that shit out of here, little nigga. <laughs> now, shout out to Julian Newman. I love when I shout niggas out after I diss them. That's the <laughs> so when they hear this, they be like, man, fuck that. All right. <laughs> he cool, he cool. He said shout out to me. Oh, yeah, if you ordered merch... I don't know why I'm saying this in the middle of the fucking episode. If you order merch, it's coming this week. I got bro- burned in a fire. No, nah, no, nah, it's shipping this week. It's already shipping on Monday. Yeah, oh, yeah, it should been already damn near to you. By I hate years. when you try to speak in your future. So I know it's go. always like because I don't want to be like, oh, it's about to come tomorrow, you, and then it's like, nigga, it's Wednesday. Breaking your blood vessels. <laughs> um, there was a dude in the NBA draft. Um, his last name. I ain't going to tell you his last name. You about to find out right now. But Fat Joe was doing the... Uh, he was Announcing it? Announcing it. Yeah. And then it was like, who do you like? Mm-hmm. And this is what Fat Joe said. I like Dick from Kansas. Yeah. I like Dick from Kansas. <laughs> I like Dick from Kansas. Yeah. Who was he trying to say? No, the guy's last name like- is Dick. <laughs> but his first name is Grady though. <laughs> Grady Dick? Yeah. Poof. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. He got that's t- tough. <laughs> he, I think he got drafted to Toronto. He said he want um dress- all to do with the red the red stuff. His jersey gonna go crazy. Cause is it D I C K? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Fuck. They gotta put G Dick. Oh, that might no, that might not work Good either. Dick. <laughs> that's fire. Damn, really? Yeah. I'm Damn. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's spelled like that. Grady, yeah, it is. Damn, y- your shit type dick fast as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga phone on it. Yeah, yeah, we already know. D I C K. I didn't even type the fucked up. Or I didn't even type dick. You did, I just oh, typed just Grady. Grady. Yeah, it was only a couple. Of, I don't know that many Grady's. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be the most famous Grady. He has to be right. Grady? No. Fuck. I know another Grady. Anyways, <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, we'll no, go to listener callers. Hold on, oh shit, damn, we ain't got no choice. I hate when you do that. We gotta go to listener callers. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> go ahead, right. say it again. All right, we're gonna have to go to listener callers, bro. Stop <laughs> <laughs> leaving that in. <laughs> we can hear you on the phone, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my bad, G. What was you doing? <laughs> you just keeping quiet for no reason. No man, I'm just my. It's my first time. You got got me all nervous and shit, dude. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> hey, but how you guys doing though? <laughs> We're good. Yourself? <laughs> I mean, not too shabby. You know, I'm just I'm kicking it back with my my boo right here. Who's your Who's your boo? Um. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's T Albino. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> what, she really is Albino? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like Blake Griffin Albino or like Albino Albino? Uh, what would you say? Like tattoo? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, uh, I know what that what means. Say? What? Type. Like half baked albino, like oh. <laughs> like I don't have the red eyes, but I have the blonde hair. And yeah, 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 yeah. Not my parents are dark. <laughs> like oh, okay. Michael Jackson albino. <laughs> That's your girl, bro. Shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's like in the middle. Whenever he's doing that, all right, nigga, we don't. Care. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So let's get to a question that you answered. How did you cheat on your current girlfriend? <laughs> 
Whoa, no, no, that's good. No, no, that is not. No, they said, bro. That's the question. What? No, that's, that's crazy. the question you asked. You said, we asked, how did you cheat on your current significant other? And you said, you swiped up. You want me to read what you said? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> you said, you said every night yeah. that she goes to sleep, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> No, nah, it's crazy because I worked that graveyard shift. Oh, so you must be working on somebody else? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Are you gonna answer the question or what? <laughs> Is that actually the question? <laughs> I mean, that's the question you swiped up on. You want me to screenshot it and send it to you? <laughs> Yeah. Bro, no, 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 the only question, all right, I, no, I, I slept on all of them, just because, you know, I mean. So you are cheating on me. No, no. <laughs> Bro, look what you guys are doing, man. <laughs> I started listening to you, I support you, I, I, I mean, I don't pay for Patreon, but. Hey, if we, if we <laughs> can get broke, a million, I got seven bucks. If we can get a million views off your relationship, and hey, that's a trade we willing to make. <laughs> No, y'all, y'all about to make her, his daughter a whole single with a single mom. That's crazy. <laughs> you got kids too? Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, bro. I got, we ain't I know got. he was breaking up a family. <laughs> <laughs> our bad, our bad. Take it back. <laughs> that shit only worth 3 million views. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's crazy, bro. All right, my fault. He, that's not the question he answered. Let me just <laughs> Okay, I, I was he, he answered if you had to have sex with your significant other's mom <laughs> would you <laughs> 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 not, 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 that's not even her mom here. was just here <laughs> what oh her mom was just there, there? oh yeah she yeah. was here yeah That'd be crazy why your granddaughter. <laughs> what you mean why <laughs> <laughs> That's what the question is. No, 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 that's not what it was. Hey, this shit, nah, like, but, nah, but like, look. He was laughing what? at the other one. He not laughing that hard at this one. <laughs> nah, bro. You is made that, me sleep on the couch. Why, is, that, is that why you were so quiet? When? She was sitting down talking to Isabel? I, nah. nah. <laughs> oh, he caught. Hold on, we got one. <laughs> you, I will say, do you know he sent us an eggplant emoji? <laughs> Oh, so you're oh, yeah. right. you're, you're really right next to me. I sent it. No, you're, you're you were right next to me. When you, yeah. um, Tell me now. She's so fake when she's doing that with people. Too fake, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Also, he nah, sent you us. You kiss your homies. It's all right. I already know. Damn. We ain't his homies. Nah, huh? <laughs> we ain't his homies. <laughs> we not the ones here. Guess they're not my homies, man. Even now. I, no, I've been looking since day one. No, we appreciate you, but we know no, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna drag. No, 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 we do appreciate you. No, real shit. But you're not gonna drag. You got to, bro. You're not gonna drag us into your shit, though. Well, you right. wouldn't even be there in the first place. Oh, he sent us a. Oh, wait, you sent us a lot of messages. Look at this. Wow, that's that nigga. Yeah, it is him. He's a sim. He He's said. A he sent us the pointing hand emoji to the circle emoji, like the. Like pointing to like a booty hole or something, and then <laughs> he put "I want in, dog," and then oh, he, sent, he sent one, two. These are you that down bad? Three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. So that's nine emojis. Then he sent us a TikTok with the caption. I don't even want to click on the TikTok. It said, "I can make you. I can make you." No, come it was to... a, the TikTok was a uh, was a uh, no, one no, of no, the no, podcasts. No, no. Is I can nah, make it, nah, like it was it no. was what what if what if what's it called yeah what what would you let your girl get a massage from a guy and no, I said the caption says I can make you come to at the end of the massage <laughs> yeah that's the end of the crazy, massage crazy crazy to say <laughs> and then you ask a question <laughs> you said come on man but you spelled come c u m I I ran out of then you sent this deep dark out of <laughs> Then you sent us the darkest emoji possible. They're, they're really just slut shaming you at this point because there's no other way. Then there's you no called us. Then you called us daddy and papa back to back. <laughs> Let me see that one. <laughs> wow, this thing well, is like, crazy. Then he went back to being racist. <laughs> He went back tell to, me now. He, tell he, me now. He races, too. He went back to being racist. He said, answer me, boy. And then, <laughs> then, no, you're out. You're out. Get out. Really? 
<laughs> then he tried no, to go no, back no, to. No, you know. Then he. No, bro, you got the wrong person, bro. I don't know. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I support you guys. No, no, no. You want to say an N word behind the back? No, no, he didn't say the N word. No, he said no, no. <laughs> he not. He not racist. Not <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> that is crazy. I'm, I'm telling your mama. Oh, uh, they hang up. No, no, no. We still here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You guys were quiet so fast. Okay. <laughs> It's like we're fake laughing. What did your worst enemy do to become your worst enemy? Okay, so I know what I put was was like gave head, whatever, you know. But I just put no. that just cause. No, but, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. But I said, <laughs> what did your worst enemy do to become your worst enemy? And then he said, gave me bad head. <laughs> so, so what's your worst? <laughs> Appreciate you coming on the show, Brody. No, I appreciate you, man. No, we appreciate you, man. No, I love you. No, we don't. (laughs) No, no, but I do. No, we good, bro. We respect. No, we are respectfully decline. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) Wow. What's good? What's good? Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's the word? <laughs> Wait, what's, what's going on? What's, what's the deal? What you been on? What's the word? But I was just chilling on my H me nigga shit, you know what I'm talking about, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but where are you from? I'm from the city, nigga, from the bay, man. I'm my mama land. The, like California? Yeah, California, nigga. See, that's where y'all niggas get it fucked up. Niggas say Cali. All y'all niggas think of LA and shit, nigga. Nah, nigga, I'm from the bay, nigga. You feel me, nigga? I'm my mama, nigga. On see this nigga, on what's, anything, nigga. What's the, what's the most bay thing you've ever done? <laughs> Whoa, that's what's crazy ass question. Most bay thing I ever done? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I didn't go ride the whip on the motherfucking bay bridge. My nigga, on my mama, nigga, nigga had to let that shit swing like the E forty nigga mixtape, nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, my mama. <laughs> 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 I'm so lost. <laughs> what? What? I so. My question to you is, what's since you're from the Bay? What's what, how do is a uh, how do you spit game to a girl? Look, you gotta really spit your ism on a motherfucking bitch. You hear me, nigga? On my mama, nigga. You gotta lay it down, nigga. Cause nigga, proper instruction brings great production, nigga. The bitch don't follow instructions, she gonna bring me great destruction. You understand me, nigga? It's three things I ain't never seen, nigga. A faith, a hoe, a UFO, and a pink slip to the pussy. You don't own the bitch, free the bitch. You gotta spit that real ism on the bitch. You understand me, man? It's real player ism to this bitch. You understand me, nigga? Turn around, see what you turning down. You understand me, man? I see you peeking, but you ain't speaking, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I get to my pocket. I'm a pip. That means a P-I-M-P. Put it in my pocket. You understand me, nigga? You gotta spit that real ism on the bitch. You understand me, player? You understand? I, I literally understood everything he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so crazy. Hey, that ain't crazy. But I didn't understand a word that nigga said, but I got the whole message. <laughs> you understand? And when you, once you just lay that neck down on the fish, you know, she, ain't, she ain't got no trick but to fall in your lap. You understand me, player? I understood that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. Would you rather? Would you rather have a bad lining for six months or let your girl cheat on you once? Oh, <laughs> um, but I ain't gonna lie, brother. I'm 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 gonna have to let the girl cheat, brother. You feel me? Because if niggas don't know, I got a bitch. I got a bitch, brother. So I ain't nothing to get another one, brother. I can't be outside with a bad lining, brother. <laughs> no, I got an to run, my nigga. You can't catch me out blacking like that, my nigga. I can't do it, but let the bitch cheat. Let free the bitch, my nigga. Didn't you just hear me, nigga? I don't own the bitch. You gotta free the bitch, nigga. You don't got a pink slip. <laughs> The bitch gonna do what she gonna do, nigga. You can't be outside with a bad line in no brother. <laughs> a line is that important, huh? It, nigga, a line is a manhood, nigga. That's that, nigga. You ever seen a nigga with a bad line? You don't trust that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You don't trust no niggas with bad lining, nigga. Okay. I don't know why that's true. <laughs> because it's like if you got a bad hairline. That's just like genetics. But if I see your shit has potential to be straight and I see like baby hairs and shit, like dismembered and shit, like you got a bad haircut, nigga, and you like, don't like, have a hat on. Like, what's going on? It's, it's crazy because the nigga trying to give me financial advice 
and he got a bad line and nigga, you ain't spending your money wisely, nigga. It's looking so good. <laughs> nah. What is wrong with those? Uh, a nigga trying to give you advice on the stock market and his hairline looked like the stock market. Nigga, <laughs> 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 it look like it look like Bitcoin, nigga. I can check on my cash app, nigga, your hairline, nigga. <laughs> Shit look like a Bitcoin. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Insane. That shit, nigga, like, that shit look like a heartbeat monitor when a nigga back alive. No, a nigga lying and look like he just got out of a five year noogie. Like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> what what would you what, I was gonna say, what would be your advice to a guy that's trying to talk to a girl from the bay and they're not from the bay? Your advice is that you can't be no square. You know what I'm saying? A baby is going to sniff that out of you. You know what I'm talking about, nigga? You know what I'm <laughs> Wait, what was that sound effect? You go, she going to sniff that out of you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't they, never seen a nigga successfully sniff twice. It's not like an <laughs> elephant trunk. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead. Continue. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, baby bitches in New York, bitches, they kind of the same. They're a little aggressive. But you know what I'm saying? But you got to be a little more aggressive than them. You know what I'm saying? Then they going to flow to you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to lay it down with the Mac and style. You understand me? So you feel me? It's going to take a while for a nigga not from the bay to really earn, learn that ism in the way of the walk of the pimp. You understand me, nigga? But it's some real ism when you learn that. You understand me, nigga? You're an amateur in the game, but you can learn it for the vet. You understand me, nigga? Hey, I understood. Everything <laughs> you said. I understand. I get it. That nigga speaking to me. That is some nigga. You ain't get it. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you gotta get the ism. It ain't criticism. You understand me, player? Yeah, I appreciate you, man. It's me, nigga. <laughs> Hey, look, it's really ash, nigga. It's crash dummies, nigga. It's me, nigga. You understand me, nigga? <laughs> yeah, 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 sir. Hey, appreciate you coming on the show, Brody. Nah, thank y'all, man. I'm my mama. Yay, appreciate you, bro. Yo. Hi. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How your voice gets so cool? Uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh no, not you, not you. Let's talk about Pat. Oh me? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Did it get cooler? Yeah, yeah. You just sounded a little bit. You started to be smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, J.K. Um, I had a question for you. Yeah. Huh. Why do you say yeah? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Like yeah. Huh. Like what's it? Oh well, yeah, I feel huh? like everyone has a problem. Everyone has a problem with me saying that. Maybe you should change it then. <laughs> <laughs> What's going no. on? If everybody got a problem with it, then- where are you from? I'm I'm from California, a little small town. Well, you know where Fresno's at? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, like forty five minutes away from Fresno. Okay. okay. <laughs> if that is that's what they say in um whatever town you're from, then it's acceptable. But if you just made that up, then it's not. Nah, I'm not a liar. It's okay. Okay, okay. All right. So, when did you know your relationship was over? Uh, so, when I I realized it, like, maybe, like, a year into the relationship, he lived, like, two minutes. It's, like, a one-minute walk, kind of down the block. And um, I would never see him. Like, I would see him, like, once a month on a good day. No way. <laughs> yeah, way. He's like, no, why are you laughing? If he lives one minute from you, he's actively avoiding you. Like, actually, it's actually okay, hard. Okay, wait, wait. Why are you laughing at him? Can I explain myself? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, he he's a dispatcher for a trucking company, and, like, his best friend owns it, if that makes sense. So, like, they live in, like, he works in Fresno. Actually, he works in Fresno. And he works, like, 14 to, like, 16-hour shifts every day, and he'll get home late. And he'll leave, like, early in the morning, and then he'll be tired. So I'm like, oh, man. I mean, I guess, but, like, two minutes away from my house. And I'm like, and I stuck with him for, like, a year and three months. So when You did, saw him once a month, damn near? Literally, like, a good, like, like, I'll see him, like, maybe a couple times. But it wouldn't be, like, an actual, like, like, we'll get food and then, like, hang out at his house. And then, like, you know, like, uh, hang out intensely. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hang out. So, I was like, maybe I don't want this no more. <laughs> hang, hanging out intensely is crazy. <laughs> I've never heard it explained like that. I've never heard anybody. I've never heard sex is explained like that before. <laughs> this time has been text hanging out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I try to get my 
ass beat by my little brother. <laughs> so no, that's crazy. Hey, girl, you trying to hang out intensely? <laughs> 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 no, that's crazy. So he, you only saw him once a month, once or twice a month, and he lived one minute away. Yeah. So he had a family. <laughs> Bruh, like, 100% I tried to, had, like, I tried to make, can you hear me? Yeah, it's not, it's not like you okay. just got engulfed by a transformer. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, no. the, the, the audio is so bad, it sounded like you went to another realm. <laughs> Why are you laughing like you got the last Dragon Ball? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I can you now. Like, clearly? Or like, yeah, yeah, clearly, clearly. Yeah, yeah, it's better oh, now. Okay. Oh, man. Anyways, so, yeah. And he broke up with me, like, a couple months ago. And, like, my Oh, you stuck it out so this bad. long? Huh? You stuck it out? Yeah. There was no. I, I, it, I had faith in him. There was no other fish in the sea in your small town. No, I like my little fish, but like, listen, <laughs> it's because it's because I stuck with him, and I'm like, he like, I don't know. I guess I had like a lot of stuff going on in my life, and he mm-hmm. was like the only person that was there, so I kind of that made me like connect with him more. Yeah, he was one, like he was one minute away. <laughs> But you said he was never there either, though. So how was he there? <laughs> Nigga, foul, <wow>, man. <laughs> like, I mean, like, virtually, I guess. Diverse. <laughs> no, he, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. That's, he, that's, that's, that's true. That's he true. literally was probably watching you pull out the driveway just so he can relax around his own neighborhood. <laughs> no, you know what's crazy? He, like, passes by my house to make sure. I know he does this stuff. Because I did it when we were dating. He passes by my house to see if I'm home. Because, like, his thing was, like, he didn't want me, like, dating other people. And I was like, I get that. I understand. Like, I'd be obsessed, too. But, like, really? And, like, I know it's him because he has, like, a loud car. And I know his car. Like, I know it. I've been inside of it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, how you going to try to stalk with a bad muffler? This nigga <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm. Yeah, and then like my friends are taking me out more, and I'm like, I don't want to go out. And they're like, you need to forget about him. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, you need to forget about him. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so, and like, oh, bro, it gets worse. So like, there's this guy that I've been talking to since we broke up, but just like texting every day, nothing like you know too frisky. And like, he's like super sweet, and he's like always asking me to go out, and I'm like, no, like I'm busy, knowing like, damn well I'm not. Because like I don't want to move on, like you know what I mean? Because I'm like, what if what if he wants to come back? Mm-hmm. Then I'm here. You know what I mean? And you know the best part about it all? What? He only a minute away. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, you, but could, you you could do better. I think I could. I know I could. I Actually, think, I know I could. I, I think this is but, a turning point right here. Let's let's let, let's just do better for ourselves. Let's move on. Maybe give that guy a chance. You know, like my mom now. Hey, damn. See, yeah. Auntie Pat. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me that, nigga. <laughs> Auntie Fat is crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. What's you have a kid? What's, what's I have a kid and he calls you? I'm gonna tell him to call you Auntie Pat the whole time. I'm punching that little nigga. But you guys are like the last two brain cells I have left. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a pretty good brain cell. Man. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Right, you know, I'm pretty successful. <laughs> if I'm your brain cell, you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> What you talking about? <laughs> and you see your bo- and you see your boyfriend more than twice a right. month. Right. <laughs> no, joke, I joke, I joke. <laughs> no, no, no. no. My, my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We, we take that too soon, too soon, too soon. We take him back. But nah, that's okay. I'll cry later. No, nah, that's right. But I just want you to know this conversation lasted longer than a minute, <laughs> and they could definitely see you. <laughs> We talk, oh, man. shit, are we dating? I've been talking to you. I talk to you more than this nigga. <laughs> All right, appreciate you coming on the pod. We putting in way more work than that nigga. <laughs> All right, peace. See ya. See ya. You know what's weird? <clears throat> I keep realizing how much I use Apple Pay now. And I think as Americans, we're running into the same problem that we did when credit cards and debit cards first started to get popular. What was the problem? Is making you spend your money a little bit faster.
Because if I give you $100 in cash, it's mm-hmm. easier for you to be like, now you're really calculating how much you spend because it gets smaller in your hand mm-hmm. or you see less money. Like, damn, I spent $20 already. Where did $20 go? The card, okay, it got easier than just spending money because you're swiping. But it's still like, I got to get it from my wallet, swipe, get it from my wallet, swipe. Now they're taking something that's already in your hand and telling you to click two buttons. Bam, boom, boom. No. So it's way quicker now. It's way easier to spend money. No, I don't think it makes it easier. Yeah, it is. Hell no. I'm telling you. People, you know, the, the thing. No, the because thing, you still you still have to take it. I have my phone in my pocket most of the time, so I'm still reaching you. my pocket. You think people just have their phones in their hand all the time? When they're, if, if you're in line. Bro, you talk about like point something seconds, not even a second. I'm saying if you're in line, nah, do you fuck have that your nigga. You wrong, nigga. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny when I do shit like that. That nigga be looking hurt. No, it's like it's, it's so it's like so. Un- it is crap. <laughs> what did you disagreeing for, <laughs> bitch ass nigga? You ain't got no evidence. So you ain't got no evidence for vice versa. Like nah, when nigga just say nah. Yeah, shut your whole ass up, mm-hmm. yeah? Uh, Mori Povich. Oh no, nah. Blueface. What happened? He tweeted and said, can't trust a bitch with two phones. <laughs> you can't trust a business owner? Maybe <laughs> 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 she owns a business. I, I don't understand that either, how, like, the two phone thing even matters, though. Right. I feel like if somebody's <laughs> going to cheat, they're going to cheat. <laughs> like, what is two phones going to stop it? Because he, he didn't start cheating until he got that second phone. Like, because <laughs> if you got the second phone, if I know you got two phones and every time you're around me, you don't have that second phone. Then all right, there's something like all right, right. <laughs> but if you I always want have you to, to know what my business is, yeah. But you always have two phones on you. The person still has to like text or call you, right? You still have to use a phone. It's, I don't understand that. Wait, what? You not you checking one phone, but you are not checking the other? That just yeah. make you dumb. <laughs> I think you cheating. Let me check your regular phone. I've been thinking about getting a second phone. Yeah, because I, I I legit do want one just for um, so I know if this phone is ringing. Is the business one? Is money? Is money involved? Yeah. But this one is ringing. It's like scam likely, or yeah. these banks that keep trying to get their money back. Or, <laughs> or is my younger sister asking me to buy something crazy? Yeah. Your sibling ever just like text you and ask you something like insane? Yeah. Yes. And like my little sister, she's like fourteen, asked me for a thousand dollars. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, you need a thousand, folks. That's I don't like. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like family members knowing. Like, I like that I do what I do right now because no one really knows what I do. Sometimes my dad be wondering what the fuck I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it's like it. It makes you. Uh, I don't drive a super fancy car or nothing, so nobody really like knows. I don't have to flex that I make good money, right? I just tell them I'm a taxi driver. Yeah, I don't want them to think that because like, then the, the questions be like, "Oh, do you not get this? Can I get that?" I'm like, "No, nah, I don't got it." Start patting my pockets. So like, what you say? You need some money? I, you know I'm a taxi. Yo, I just got a ride. Hold on, I gotta go. <laughs> Meet running. That boy had the fake being a taxi driver. <laughs> All you gotta do is beat twice. Get the fuck out my way. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that always depends on what city you're in too. All right. As long as you're not in Indianapolis. New There's, York. Uh, I said I've been seeing a lot of so people are, <laughs> people on uh, Ari um, Fletcher's. Um, they were in their comments mad about because she promoting some type of collab with a fitness thing yeah and there's her doing squats and stuff like that and i can kind of understand it because but i also you know even if you got a i don't she claims she didn't have a bbl she but, said she didn't have a bbl yeah. i believe her but even if you did have one i think you still have to work out to to maintain all that stuff. to maintain yeah. everything so i don't, I don't get you, why they being getting mad at her you still got to work out you yeah. should work out as a human being do you want to survive to an old age yeah you got to do something but i think i do think it's because of if she really did that to even get in shape, like or stay in shape, or is it just for this this money grab? She, I mean, either way, her stomach flat. Yeah, but f- from what we see, I just think fitness. I just feel like does, does she look out of shape to you? Does she look out of shape? No, exactly. So she got to be doing something. Yeah, but it, obviously. Well, she said she didn't get no surgery. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, people be getting mad at anything. Yeah. You know, I've seen. Um, uh, so it was a bunch of pictures from like the the Pharrell did Louis Vuitton, right? Yeah, in Paris. Mm-hmm. So he had that going. It was a bunch of pictures, and it was like Offset in the picture. I think Offset was dressed like Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. There was another picture of Offset. He had like this bandana on, and then you just see all these dudes on Facebook, like man, 
the game gone cold. Y'all got people wearing this shit now. Mm. These are the same niggas just wearing like big ass piston jerseys yeah. with Cartier's. Like, nigga, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. I don't get why people would comment on somebody else's fashion, especially but, if that person is like 10 times more successful. Yeah, me. but still, to, though, the thing, because I was going to mention this dude, the thing about like Fashion Week and like especially Paris Fashion Week, I feel like it makes people dress out of their comfort zone. And then, like, for, for instance, Cat Williams, I said Cat Williams, fuck. Cap Carl Anthony Towns. What the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's a crazy. That's like but, a three foot difference. Yeah. <laughs> In height. <laughs> In Maybe. height. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but it was one fit. He had like a vest on. It's just like he didn't look comfortable in what he was wearing. Because you can just tell sometimes, for me, you can tell when someone's dressing you and you're just doing it because it's the cool thing to do because you're in Paris, right? Yeah. To dress, you know, but I, I like people to explore their fashion, but do stuff that you're comfortable with. Nah. nah I, like, I, I like that shit. Nah, I don't. Nah. I do, I do like stepping out your comfort zone, but like it, it you, let me show the fit that I'm talking about. Nah. Does but, it make a uh, difference? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would just wear a beater and shorts to everything. I just want somebody to like... Just think it's fashion, right? Yeah. If you saw me on TV and I was at a crazy fashion show and I just had on a wife beater with some shorts and some all white ones, some nice, he'd be like, damn, what type of statement is he trying to make? <laughs> like, nigga, I got a hoop after this. <laughs> yeah, the fashion <laughs> so, people. Let's hustle this up. Man. But they start, I don't know, it's just like a, a way different dressing. Yeah, I get it. Just because you're in another country. I saw even LeBron, like, stepped out of his country. He had a grill on. Yeah, but still, like, still within what he kind of... He can't really... I mean, he's 6'8". Ain't much yeah, he can really... You know, exactly. Do, like, he can't go too crazy. I'm still looking for this damn fit. Bro, fuck that fit, nigga. Nah. Kyle Kuzma was killing with the the fits, though. <laughs> Who do you think best best dressed NBA players? Uh, James Harden. Nah, Gil Gildress Alexandra. Shy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Shy Gildress. Shy Gildress, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't find the fit. He be wearing big jabos. Yeah, yeah. He definitely, uh, he definitely the. I like Chris Paul, like surprisingly. Chris Paul, Chris Paul is simple. Yeah, I like Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Um, PJ Tucker. Okay, yeah, PJ Tucker. Jokic. Hell no! I bust a suit out on my. Whoa, mama. whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> a suit? Wait, no, no, no! I just <laughs> man. <laughs> You got to put put less pauses in between your sentence. I'll bust a suit out. Man. <laughs> I was like, whoa, are we taking this podcast to the next level right now? Wait a minute. What just... Because I, I know how much you love... Hey, I knew someone was out when Keith kept yelling in the call of your kitchen. I knew it. <laughs> nah, nah. Nigga said, I'll bust. Hold <laughs> 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 oh, no. Damn, no. <laughs> Hold that shit in, my nigga. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> That nigga. Nah, busting for Jokic is crazy. Damn. <laughs> nah, but no, no, no. And instantly busting. He didn't touch it himself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Key, what's your biggest fear? Getting body slammed in front of my girl. Body mm. slammed? Yes, or just my ass beat, period. Like, to me, that's the most embarrassing thing. That but you got to know what fights to actually fight and what not. You what can fight. You you fight uh, MMA. Right, yeah. So you can. You, that's so not, it's rare. And you fucking like two, 260? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you get your ass beat, I mean, dude, good. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be mad because yeah. you don't want him to see you mad because he's going to come back and beat your ass. <laughs> like, nigga, what are you complaining to your girl for, whole ass nigga? Like, bruh, I'm in my car. <laughs> Oh, what he punched the. You've lost. A, you lost a fight before. Have you lost a street fight before? Yep. Have you uh, seen the dude that you lost to? Like, I just can't imagine losing a fight and then seeing the guy that I day, I lost right. to like every day. And you just want to get your ass beat in another state. Like, all right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you I got have. this side of America. You have nigga. seen the person that beat you up? Yeah, and then I knocked. As him an ad <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's here because he had um he had punched me. I think it was like it was in fifth grade. He had punched me over something stupid, bro. No, because I didn't bring him his his coloring book back. He had a tattoo coloring book. Uh -huh. And then I ended up seeing him like two year, two and a half years ago. And I was like, put on the gloves. You, wait, when you say fifth grade? Yeah. And you put on gloves two and a half years ago? No, yeah. no. <laughs> so it's like a... Vengeance. So like an eight, nine, ten year gap? <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga held a grudge for a decade. <laughs> That's how you know you ain't had that many enemies. I definitely didn't. <laughs> nobody, nobody distracted you. Was there everybody somebody you actually wanted to beat up in high school yeah, or yeah. any any grade? Hell yeah, 
I never wanted to beat anybody up. Like there was some players I want to beat. I did my ass. senior year, but it was like right before like prom and all that shit. And I wasn't trying to. I wasn't playing that shit. I had to go to prom. You went to prom? Yeah. Who'd you go to prom with? I ain't gonna say her name. <laughs> <laughs> you went to prom with somebody? Nah, not really. I I didn't Something do. Like I never that. did prom. You did prom? No, I thought it was lame. You were, one of them, you were one of them kids, huh? You one of them niggas that smoke cigarettes in the back of prom? <laughs> man, no, fuck them hell, niggas, man. No, no. I just never had prom. Soups and shit, man. That's they, what I was thinking, bro. I'm like, bro, all like prom is just everybody just showing up. <laughs> Did I you do the, the the thing that they do? They do uh, what? Somebody comes to your house, so you're taking pictures in front of shit. I didn't do all that. You did? Nah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen a picture of you at prom. So. I don't want no date. <laughs> I, I definitely got pictures, though. I never seen that on social media. I, I didn't want to do no day. You had a black with a purple, like a purple uh, tie or something. Not with me. I had on all white. You did? Gold. Yeah. White and gold. This nigga dressed like a temptation. <laughs> <laughs> Them suits were big as hell. They was. Every the suits just got slimmer back. and slimmer. They slimmer and slimmer now. Now they, they flooded now too. <laughs> yeah, I might post that picture. I'm gonna post that picture. What? My prom picture. <laughs> that shit back in style. The big suits. The big suits. I now. like fashion now though. It's kind of wide now. Yeah. <laughs> what is what? <laughs> <You know what? laughs> I can't say why. No, you got it. No, I'm tripping. You right. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you finally admitted that yeah. something was wrong with you. Come on, fuck nigga. <laughs> but like fashion is wise. It's like niggas wearing baggy shit. Baggy shit. Skinny niggas, shit. Niggas. I, bro, I saw Rihanna Savage Fenty post. You seen that? No. It was a dude who had underwear on and went no back to the underwear. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I get you. Know but how much of the ass do you need covered, do you think? <laughs> Huh? And underwear. No, the like the asshole was like <laughs> out. So it was like a it wasn't a thong? No. So So it was like so front imagine, covered and the rest was on full, the waist. Imagine full whitey tighties, right? Yep. And then imagine somebody cutting right where the asshole at and then making a circle. <laughs> oh, just the asshole. Yes. So there's a back with just the asshole part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I wanna see if I can find a picture of it. The thing is, it's like, you know what I mean? Like you can be who you want, like who you want, but I'm like, I can't I gotta One hole I thought it was just all ass like, out. Who what nigga wants that? If Regardless was, of what they like. If I was pooping a lot, I probably would want that. No, that's crazy. That's, I ain't gotta keep taking that's trying pants to, Oh, with through a, a hole though. You still gotta take your pants off though. You no, don't have to you, you no, got that's a super big hole. Pause. Oh, you see it? I seen it. My girl showed it to me. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the picture. No, that's that's the, the nigga that posted that file. <laughs> <laughs> and he would eat it. I don't care what you like, who you like, you like, man, whatever. But you still got to take your pants off. That's what I'm but I just, like, Those no might make sense, though. That shit, man. Let me see that again. What? No, see. hell no. Let me see it. Look it up yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to see how much, because I'm going to know, like, how much ass cheek do you really need covered? <laughs> and let me see right here. Now that's kind of crazy, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. It defeats. I feel like it defeats the purpose of the underwear. No, nah, that's because now crazy, you're gonna get like bro. shit stains on your. It's not for shit, bro. I know, not for <laughs> shit. I'm just saying though, your bare ass, like the crack part, should probably be covered. So they, could, if it was like a male thong, I'd be like, All right, I can understand it. <laughs> you trying to design sex underwear? You think you're the expert or something? What should it be then, nigga? If it covered the butt crack. But parts of the part no of the ass was showing your hands like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Dude's ass. He did it before. <laughs> my, this is my ass. This thing. <laughs> my, <laughs> so, <laughs> if you cover, right? Whoa! Cover the butt cheek. You doing that this, to your ass? Yes, I can do whatever to my body, bro. That's crazy. Is there something a man can do to his body that's weird? Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're allowed to do anything to ourselves. What? Yeah, to nah, ourselves. Nah, nah. Not the, nah. <laughs> you think it's weird to do stuff to yourself? <laughs> what what would be weird to do to yourself? Even if I had a kink of like hitting my head like this, is that weird? Oh, you saying just like that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yo, you think what you thinking? Because you was messing with your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess, okay. I guess you're pegging yourself. Then that's different. But that's what you like. That's what you like. <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen. If that's what you like, that's what you like. I still wouldn't think that's that weird. Somebody Whoa. wants to peg themselves. If somebody, if I don't have to know about it, 
Oh, you saying them, not you. It's not me. <laughs> them, not me. <laughs> I'm like, woo. If somebody wants to do right. that to themselves, that's fine. That ain't my problem. Right. Yeah, it's not my problem. Nigga, if I find out. <laughs> 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 but hey bro you, you gay that's cool bro man. Nah man I ain't gay I like to peg myself Alright nigga <laughs> Let me put this on my Twitter <laughs> This nigga so weird But do you think if it was me though That would still have associations with you I know I gotta get rid of you dog <laughs> You, you too Key why you laughing I, know. <laughs> I ain't no camera right now <laughs> Hey, hey, dang, hey, bro, Steve is fire, bro. I would fuck with you, but you mess with that one dude that be pegging himself, don't you? <laughs> they call that nigga Pegasus. <laughs> the Peg Brothers. <laughs> nah, the Peg Brothers is insane. No, that's crazy. <laughs> they got pegs on this bike <laughs> and in his <this> ass. <laughs> oh, man. I was thinking the, the word fuck is, is probably the most versatile um, yeah. curse word, don't you think? That shit is very versatile. Because I think you can use it in a negative connotation and a positive connotation and a very neutral connotation. Like, what would be the negative one? Just name a negative one. Fuck you. Yeah, right? Okay. Or shut the fuck up. A good one? Uh, Fuck, man. That's great. Yeah, and then the neutral one to me would be like, I want to uh, fuck. No, oh, no wait, 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 wait. That was for the last one. <laughs> 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 said, for me. <laughs> no, he no, said no, 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 no. Why <laughs> <laughs> got you, niggas? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell yeah. The neutral. Niggas back. He said, no, the neutral one for me. No, no, I was just saying. Fuck. The neutral one would be like, I don't want, I don't give a fuck. No, like, no, I mean, I don't no, give a fuck. No, no. YouTube put in the comments. We got hell both no, hey. hell no. It's still June. <laughs> hey, hey. Pride Month. Hey, you ever see those memes that said uh, uh no, July? Sh- no, fuck that. July first, make Can't. my shit straight, nigga. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all that rainbow shit isn't that crazy though? What? July first, all that rainbow stuff disappears. I know. They just <laughs> it literally goes on sale. It's the same thing with Black History. Month. Yeah. <laughs> all the- Black History Month, Valentine's Day, Christmas, all these holidays. All that shit. Go but on. I'm, t- I'm, I'm talking about for these stuff, like Pride Month is Pride Month. It's like, you know, like that month to really show that support, right? Right. Black History Month to, to bring more attention. This is like when it's over, it's like, all right, bro, we don't need to sell these Kente colored uh, cups anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> Put the dashikis in the back, Robert. <laughs> Time to whip out the American flag. Yeah. <laughs> they Fly just, them high, boys. You think people actually have like their, you know how like Christmas, you put your Christmas decoration back in the box and then you put it in the basement. Do you think people do that with like Black, St- black History Month? They, no? put, yeah. they put they, uh, they hair pick with the black fist power yeah. on the back. Let me put this back in the box <laughs> Bro, they start for next June team. I know they did but they my, did. I've been wearing my hair shorter now so I haven't oh they start making a black fist one yeah I haven't seen one uh-huh. just plastic and I don't know why every time I then the, the other thing I said Walmart start, I remember when Walmart started selling uh, hair picks because remember I've, even when we were in school I don't think they had freaking hair picks at Walmart like right. that. It took and then so long then, for all these stores to get And then like when they brought product. it, yeah, and then when they brought it, it was always in the glass case, <laughs> cases. Yeah, you know it's in the glass case. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen chicken behind a glass case before, too. But people get a bit mad at Walmart, but sometimes they be having, like, the stats to prove the products that are getting, uh, it's getting stolen. It's stolen. So it's like. But that's because y'all putting this shit in the hood with security <laughs> guards. <laughs> Just back small businesses. <laughs> Seriously, though. Stop complaining. That's we need more small Walmart. business. Oh, we're gonna take the Walmart away. Good, nigga. So I can start a uh, pharmacy store. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> nigga be trying to threaten us. <laughs> now threaten you with like closing a Walmart is like, bro. Like, bro, come on now. We, we don't care that much. That's why I hate. Speaking of not caring that much, I hate when people care so much about celebrities that they're fascinated when they do normal things. Like I saw this picture of Beyonce playing Uno, and all these quotes. Oh, they normal just like us playing Uno. Like, what the fuck you think they're yeah. doing? Just because somebody <laughs> like, what a do you billion, think they, yeah. Just somebody a bit. Or there's a Solange posted like a couple things, and it was Beyonce singing uh, Keisha Cole's song "Love." Mm-hmm. Everybody like, oh my god, that's crazy. Keisha Cole just like I mean uh, Beyonce just like us mm-hmm. singing Keisha Cole. And it's just like, bro, what she's you think? a fan of music, yeah. <laughs> like, what you think she just at the crib, like just sitting there, she a robot? She turn off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she only Beyonce when you see her. Stupid motherfuckers, man. <laughs> God damn. Go get a hobby. Nigga. I think the the one thing I do think it's like you it's a surprise when you see celebrities sometimes is like when you see them shopping at like a regular grocery store or something like that. Like you see them at Walgreens, it's like, oh shit. 
I just know if I had some so much money, there'd be some times I don't go out. And a lot of times I don't like step out. But I guess sometimes they want to do normal, normal people things yeah, too. Yeah, they want to feel normal. Yeah. Shit. But yeah. I'm still Uber Eats and everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, hell no. Online I shopping. I online shop. Well, you online. You are the king of uh, online grocery shopping. Man. <laughs> I ain't been in a grocery store in so long. <laughs> Maybe my shit. And then still get mad. Yeah. Nigga, I said a dozen eggs, nigga. Don't you hate? <laughs> I hate. 24. I hate when they try to substitute, make the substitute for you. Like, I know. And they give you a bad substitute. They yeah. give you like the worst flavor of this thing. Like, bro, there's another flavor right there, bro. Yeah, be like, Instead of cucumbers, I got you an eggplant. Freaky ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah. A pickle. <laughs> To a, I said pickle A cucumber to a, 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 a Eggplant is insane The niggas that shot for That's what The 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 knowledge The IQ goes down with Deliveries And mm-hmm. Uber driver They usually got a higher IQ Cause they gotta be like The navigation Speed limit Keeping you safe Where to pick up Pull out Whatever The <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I'm Not moaning <laughs> What <laughs> Pat's such a bird. Pat a bird. He said, "Nah, you moaning." (laughs) Not moaning, but um, so they do all that. But the niggas that shop for groceries, them niggas is stupid. It's (laughs) fuck, bro. Can't stand them, bro. They be so wrong. Not all of them, but one time, like one time, I uh, ordered like some onion soup. Mm -hmm. Bro, this nigga gave me five onions instead of onion soup. They so gave so you like, onions and a chicken broth. Yeah, told you to make it, nigga. Make it yourself. Nigga thought it probably was smart as hell. Oh, you know what I'ma do? Like, no, nigga. It's the reason I'm trying to get the product. Nigga. I can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> nigga want me to make it from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> I start my dinner at nine thirty. I'm not making yeah. shit from scratch. That is a cutoff point. That's a way too late to be cooking. Entirely. I don't, I don't think I can cook past like. Five o'clock, I'm not going to lie. Four. four. <laughs> and I'm not eating dinner after seven. No, I'm eating dinner after seven for sure. Unless it's like already late night. No, seven, that's my cutoff time. No, I get back from sparring and I need to eat. Because I didn't get done sparring like Nigga, that's o'clock. your schedule. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nigga, I just told you mine. I don't care about you, to be honest. Whoa, that's crazy. A lot of shit's going to come out this podcast. Mm. You, even you? Ooh. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'll take that shit to the next level. I'm not gonna lie though. What Ooh. that if I did come out? Mm. How would it be? I'm not gonna say I don't wanna like <laughs> it's gonna be him on a blimp. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be you boxing. All you're gonna see is t t t t t t t t and it's just be like, I just want you to know that I'm the first bisexual boxer. <laughs> said bisexual. <laughs> then it's gonna pan out. I thought you hold, I was holding up the rock. I was no. like, why am I holding up? <laughs> it's gonna pan out, and it's gonna be a nigga booty you was beating on the whole. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you guys stop because because one person I posted a picture of me boxing, and somebody said, right, "Did you twerk right after?" That's and I, I hate, and I looked at his profile pictures. The lamest looking dude too. I was like, all right, listen, listen. listen. We, I swear we love y'all. Back and forth, y'all get like one joke. It gotta then, be funny though. It gotta be funny, <laughs> and then we get it. Like it ain't always gonna be funny. Y'all get a couple jokes back and forth, but if y'all get to like, it's some people that be like nine, ten jokes, and we don't be responding. <laughs> you're one screenshot away from never. Uh, <laughs> don't do that to yourself. We not famous. And I don't know what y'all don't get about that. We make a lot of money from it, but we not famous. I will screenshot your shit and cook you. Come on, stop doing that shit. <laughs> If you, especially if you comment, you better you better have a good comment. <laughs> Anytime I post a picture, bro, they always come at Pat. <laughs> That's me on my page, right? <laughs> my fuck Pat. I'm like, what? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Take that anger out on your dad if you can, <laughs> if you can find him. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be so mad. Man. Just all you, look up in the phone book, see where he at. <laughs> I, I remember know. phone books used to be a thing where you can look up people's numbers, look though. Look up people's number, give them a call. Yeah. You ever been on the phone with a girl when you was younger, and you hear their mama come on and just cuss both y'all out? Yeah. Like, I know y'all is not playing on my mother. They always thought phone. I was a girl, so it didn't really matter. Why? Because my voice is so fucking high. <laughs> Your voice used to be that high? You yes, bro. I, I told this story. Remember I called uh, this girl that I liked? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then her mom told me to put some bass in my voice. This Damn. is eighth grade. My, that's what... That's what any other parents do. Your opposite parents, they like challenge you or something. You'd be like, what's up, young man? How you doing? It's like, nigga, why is you doing that? I'm, yeah. trying, to, I'm trying to have sex with your daughter. Why are you doing I hate when people be telling me, like, you better not break her heart. What the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> 
Nah, there's there's crazy. there's something tough about being a, da- a girl dad, no, no, especially. No, no, no. That's what we hate. What we talk about all the time. Yes, it depends on who says that. Like if it's her dad or brother, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But if it's her out of shape friend, you need to shut up <laughs> <laughs> and stop giving her advice. You've never had a boyfriend before. Yeah. <laughs> Not just playing. Shout out to shout out to her. Smell a lot. The hypothetical person. <laughs> <laughs> I love all women shapes sizes. That, that's why I need to get that out of that. I love all women shapes. No, sizes. no, I'm saying I didn't think you were saying anything about that, but I thought you were talking about a dude at first. No, nah, I just <laughs> hate I just hate bashing women. Period. So like when I use them in my scenario, uh-huh. I like to make sure I walk back on the comments. <laughs> I really don't think like that. It was just for the joke, ladies. <laughs> it's only one shape I don't like. You know, no. Nah, the, the funny like, thing about like, Pat. Bro, I'll play. I, I when I edit some clips, I say, "Pat, listen to this clip real quick," and he'd be like, "Damn, I fucking said that." <laughs> that would be, that, that be so surprised at his own. I was like, "Yeah, nigga, you said that." Or the stuff that I take out sometimes, I'd be like, "Bro, should I keep this in?" He's like, "When the fuck did I say that?" <laughs> now I'd be crying on my way to church. I'd be crying because I play our podcast before church, so I know what to uh, confess is my sin. <laughs> <laughs> like man I'm so sorry I said this that Do you see how fake this nigga is <laughs> This nigga said I was Muslim last week <laughs> I went to the church <laughs> This not a church a mosque the, I went to the mosque <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Okay I'm back to Christian But listen Some of you in the comments Said they accept you though Huh they, No they, I seen that Yeah yeah That nigga ain't no real Muslim <laughs> 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 Nigga would've made me whip. I ain't get jumped in or nothing <laughs> That'd be crazy if you join a Christian group and niggas start stumping you. Yeah. <laughs> Put some holy water in that nigga's eyes. <laughs> Man, anyway, that's been Crash Dummies episode. That was a hard, that was a hard exit. But, but yeah, it's been a good podcast. Make sure you uh, subscribe to everything. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I appreciate y'all, man. It's, it's been it's been a, a fun ride. This will be our last podcast ever. We're never putting out anything ever again. Thank you. It's been a, It's been a fun ride. Um, I just play the next one gonna be in Arizona though. Yeah, yeah, that's one's gonna be in Arizona. We're gonna be in Arizona. So hey, if any of our listeners are in Arizona, no, they won't hear this. They will on Wednesday. Oh shit, we leave yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to like, I don't know, meet we're up. Not linking with you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be in Arizona. Fine. Leave in the comments where we should go. We're gonna link up or leave in the comments some creators that are in Arizona that we should like collab with as well. Yeah. So yeah, this has been Crash Dummies episode one oh.